Hey guys, over the last few weeks, quite a few people have actually been asking me how do you actually go about registering a domain name? So, hence, this is why I'm actually putting this video together. So, what I'm going to actually take, what I'm actually going to do is take you to GoDaddy. I normally register a lot of my, um, oops, not Google, <laughs> GoDaddy.com, where I actually register a lot of my um, domain names. Help if I could spell GoDaddy, wouldn't it? Okay. We actually register a lot of my domain names, and I'm going to take you through the registration process. Okay, the first thing I do is when I hit the front page is I check to see if the domain that I actually want is available. And what I'm actually doing is creating my own blog off this domain. So hopefully we'll find out if it's available. Dwayne, and it's going to be Dwayne's blogs.com that's what I'm looking for and now we're just checking to see okay okay yes Dwayne's blogs is available and the reason why I use GoDaddy is because they're one of the best domain registers around and not only that they're very very um good value okay so the next thing I'm next thing I need to do is scroll down here and click on continue as you can see I've already got around here I've got what I'm selected what I want I don't really want a dot net or a dot org or a dot biz or dot info at this time those could be used for different things later on but right now I'm just interested in a dot com so let me continue to the next section okay now what happens here is they go that you're really good they always try to sell you lots of other stuff as well but what happens is right now as you can see I said I'm not interested in the dot biz dot net or dot info so my next step is to click on this little button just underneath add these to my order which says no thanks continue to check out okay and now I'm here what happens is it's gonna ask me to enter a few of my details I'm gonna pause the camera and once I've entered it, I'll come back to you. Okay, on the last page, what I did is I entered in my login name and password. But if you're f uh, if this is your first time at GoDaddy, you will actually have to enter um, some details, like for example your name and address, so you can actually create account, create an account. And what I'm doing right here is checking this the length of time that I'm actually going to be um, registering the main for. At this time, I'm already going to be selecting a year. That is normally the minimum. Or you can do it from two years, three years, or all, all the way up to ten years. Okay, and what happens is here you're gonna get a whole lot of uh, extra things um, added on. We we're more or less it's an upsell. At this time, I'm not interested in any of those, so I'm gonna go straight down to this section here where it says quick checkout, and then I just click continue. And when you've done this a couple of times, it comes becomes really easy. Um, it's just about the first time I've done this, it was quite eye-opening, actually. All right, now I'm at this section. I'm at the secure checkout, which you can see just here, and you can see yeah, the customer name. That's me, and what starts with me now is my method of payment. Okay quite straightforward there's a credit card that's if you, you can use that or pay by check I'm not really interested in that you could also use your um PayPal account if you've actually got one or your PayPal account on file at GoDaddy I'm going to use my credit card okay oh yeah and of course you need to click these this section these two boxes here of course you should actually read them I've read them a couple of times before <laughs> okay and now as you can see oh, as I'm a customer it's automatically filled some of my details in here and what I'm going to do now is enter my credit card details so I'm gonna pause the camera oh okay and I've just entered my details and what it, the next thing it asks me for is uh, capture code and um, what this is to make sure that it's not just a 
machine which is entering the information automatically okay once I enter that and then I press verify code it should take me to the next step and if you get it wrong of course what happens is it just gives you a chance to do it again okay and that's it my confirmation thank you for your order please keep the following receipt and so on and that's it that's the basics of actually registering an account now all these other stuff here you don't really need to worry about it's worry about it um it's more or less upsell again so you don't really need to worry about it unless you're interested in doing a few of these things but as i said before all i'm all i really want at this point in time is just the basic domain name okay thanks see you in the next video all right bye